what I have explained is, that the process of the division of the neutron, for the first time we can explain, that is, the center of neutron itself, as you look at the structure of the cores, rotating cores, which they have a center, and the fields, and then you have the matter state, or the Gans state, as by rotation you create a center, the way we have seen, and we explain in the structure of the soul of the man, in the brain of the man, now we understand, the center of the neutron is the same, and he has a center, where, by the change of the fields, in this environment, then the center divides, and the balance of the energy, what is left here, becomes the proton, and what is in the center is electron, with a higher power that it can carry on, with this random motion. In fact, if we look, we understand, the whole three are the same. In the life of the man, when the blood circulation, which is surrounding the brain of the man, changes through the misfunctioning or a stoppage of the heart, the environment changes and forces the release of the soul into a new dimension. So, the creation of the soul and the division or the, not the creation, the release of the soul from the center of the structure of the physicality of the man. The same way, as a neutron division, which is electron and proton, is exactly the same. And then, as I explained, if you remember, some of us who did the test, creating deliberately a center core, a second core, and a third core, or we had a center core created in the middle, we have found some of our cores, have disappeared, or we have lost them, we cannot find them. They have gone through the same process, where the field forces in the surrounding, has forced the trajectory process. So, in all three, the creation of the, the release of the soul of man, and the division of the neutron, are in the same as with the cores, where we see the release of the inner core, is all the same, how we understand. But, now, once we understood this, and we can elevate the knowledge of the man, we can dictate on the direction of this trajectory, or on the direction of the release of what you call the electron. This gives man a new dimension in the world of physics, a new understanding, and this will be written in the books of physics as a new chapter, going further into the structure of the material going further in the structure of the Plasma Technology. As I said, Plasma Technology is the next step after Atomic and Nuclear. Now, we spoke with the fields, now we have to speak. When we say Nuclear, it means we deal with the Nucleus. Now we are going inside the Nucleus, and we have parallels, so we can relate one to another. We can go from Macro to Micro, we can go from the brain of the man, into the Neutron structure, and a man-made system, which confirms and complies with the same rules and regulations in the space. This is what, as I said, will shock the world of nuclear physics. For the first time, not only we say, neutron is a plasma, electron is a plasma, proton is a plasma, we can show the birth of proton and electron, we can show how and where they are. In fact, it's the center itself, which, due to the change in the surrounding, in the strength, gets released. And in this release, trying to find a new balance, it creates a new life for itself. And this, comes back to be the same. That's why we see not much change, in the size of the electron, I uh, sorry, proton and neutron. Because, it's the center which has changed, and now this in rotation, and the forces from this, have to create a second process. And this will go on. It's the same as the creation of life on this planet and the universe.